Good morning, iFam. How's it going? Welcome to Wednesday morning. Look at that gorgeous blue sky. Yes. If you haven't been catching up with our videos the last couple of days, then where have you been? Make sure you catch up, but we are in the middle of a heat wave in the UK right now, and it is gorgeous, and y'all probably looking at me right now saying, dude, you're in the middle of a heat wave and you're wearing a beanie. But for those of you guys who have been around a while, you know I wear beanies pretty much 24-7. It's just who I am, you know? Hopefully you all love me for it. Anyway, <laughs> man, I've just walked out into this garden and it's kind of a mess. We kind of left the garden in a bit of like this from our little pool party to celebrate our one million OMG yesterday. And it was so much fun, it was so much fun. We had a really weird busy day yesterday, but we saw loads of fun in between. But this morning, this morning, some guys were supposed to be coming this morning to build something in this back garden. They were coming to build this patio here. You see this patio here, right? Amongst all the, the chair mess, which I'm about to sort out, so don't worry about that, it's all going. I've just drained the pool off. Anyway, some guys were supposed to be coming this morning to build this patio like out further on that side so that we can get like a nice seated area in like the corner over there to have like, you know, nice barbecues and sit outside and enjoy the sun. Like, it's gonna be really, really nice, but they canceled on me last minute. They literally text me at half past eight this morning to say that they'd had some sort of a family emergency and so they couldn't come and they're gonna have to come next week. So we're not getting the patio built up this week now like we planned, but it's all good. Can't help family emergencies, obviously. And as long as it gets done so we can enjoy some summer and that's all that matters. Anyways, guys, I'm home alone right now. Sarah's currently out on a driving lesson and she's gonna be back shortly. And then we've got to go out because don't know how many of you guys can relate to this. Probably a lot of you. Ooh. Although you're probably not as useless as me and Sarah right now. But the school texted me this morning to say that tomorrow is pirate day so all the children can come in dressed as pirates. Now, we did get a text a week ago telling us this and completely forgot about it until I got the text this morning. And obviously I'm not going to have Esme and Isla be the only kids that go to school tomorrow not dressed as pirates. So as soon as Sarah gets back from her driving lesson, me and her are going to have to head out and go try and find a pirate outfit. I'm sure pretty much a lot of you guys watching this video and I can relate to that. When the school texts and say that they can go in a pirate outfit or a fairy outfit or whatever outfit it may be and you have to rush to the shops to find one. Anyways, right now I am in editing hell. I have got three videos to sort out for tonight plus thumbnails etc etc and I'm fast running out of time to get them done so that is my main job right now. I can't watch that without without this happening. I'm just setting up our one million video to go live today at four o'clock. And um, it's so incredible, like, it's so incredible. When I think about the fact that we started this journey in August 2016 and we hit a million subscribers two days ago. It absolutely blows my mind. Like obviously we make these videos for you guys every single day and we work on them every day and, and we upload them and we watch you guys watching them and, and we interact with you in the comments and things like that. And But it's crazy when you watch something like that and you realize what's happened in such a short space of time. It's crazy. Thank you so much. Oh, I need to pull myself out of this now. <clears throat> so anyway guys, yeah. At four o'clock today, our one million montage video went live. It'll have already been live, obviously, by the time you're watching this. If you've not seen it yet, go and check it out because it's it's incredible. But make sure you get tissues at the ready before you do because you might just end up like me and be an emotional wreck afterwards. Anyways, guys, in case any of you were wondering, that was my very talented brother, Dave Ingham, singing and playing that song. That's one of his... One of my favourite tracks that he's ever written, I love it, it's called Light Up The Night and I will link him up down below so you can check him out if you want to. Good morning iFam, how's everyone doing today? I just got back off of my driving lesson and it went really well. Another beautiful day here in the UK, do you want to go out pretty? Careful! Look how messy our garden is from our little party fun that we had yesterday. Oh, where am I filming? <laughs> Got the camera faced over there. Anyway, I think today we're going out, Chris has just explained, he said when I came in, that we're going out to buy some pirate outfits for the girls, which I don't know if we're going to get last minute. Why do schools always do random things like pirate outfits? And every time I see pirate outfits on sale somewhere for really cheap, I always think to myself, I should buy that because for some reason schools love pirate themes and they always seem to do it and I never seem to be able to get a costume for the girls and I always end up doing something handmade which looks 
looks ridiculous. But anyway, we're going out to do that in about half an hour when Chris has finished doing some editing. I'm going to go and clean up that garden because it looks a big mess. And as it's such, oh no, it's Wednesday. I was just about to say, and as it's such a beautiful day, I've got some really fun things that we bought for the girls a few weeks ago that we haven't used yet. And I wanted to use them, but I can't because it's Wednesday. And if you are new to the AI fam, you may not know that on a Wednesday, we go straight from school at 4 p.m. to dance and we don't get home until 8 p.m. On a day like this, I would actually sometimes suggest we maybe miss a week and enjoy the sunshine instead. But the girls have their dance show coming up in a couple of weeks time, so they need to be there. Right then, right then you. Look at this face guys, seriously. Did you see anything so cute? Did you see anything so cute? Has anybody else got a dog that's struggling with the heat? Because my poor Prini is, she's sleeping lots and lots and she's obviously feeling very, very hot right now. She's loving life, playing with her. Oh, we're just ignoring this here, guys, by the way. This here, this is a wash basket with washing in. We're just ignoring that for now. So we're just about to head out to go and find some pirate outfits for the girls. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't help but laugh literally every single time I get in this car. <laughs> oh my gosh, saying that I probably look worse right now than what I do on there because I've had to scrape my fringe back because I'm just absolutely sweating with it over my face. Anyway guys, I've got some bad news. I'm really, really gutted about this, but this weekend we're going down to Brighton and we had plans to meet some people down there and they've had to cancel due to things that are none of our business to discuss basically but they've had to cancel and i'm super super gutted however we are still meeting someone else that you guys will know and love we're supposed to be meeting two people and yeah sadly we'll only be meeting one now but that's okay that means we've got free day in brighton kind of maybe half day we are very much looking forward to coming down there though this weekend and i hope I hope the weather stays just as nice as it is right now because when we were last in Brighton, it was actually New Year's Day and it was freezing. Do you remember we was walking on that pe pe yeah, and Esme peach was pier on the beach? Oh my gosh, the wind was just so cold. <laughs> yeah. And Esme was poorly and it was just, we just stood there and said we need to come back in somewhere. And now we are. Fingers crossed and I've not got my nice. seatbelt on. So fingers crossed the weather stays nice. So the first stop on our pirate hunt mission is Matalan. Matalan is the answer to all questions. Come here for everything. Hopefully it will be the answer to our pirate search. So that was kind of a Matalan fail. However, I just had a genius idea. So as we can't get an actual fancy dress outfit and I do kind of begrudge buying like actual pirate fancy dress outfits because it's not something the children the children it's not something the children it's not something the girls would ever wear again until school decides to do another one of these but i just thought matalan had some lovely jubbly white and red stripy t-shirts of kind of frilly sleeves and they weren't anything special but they were quite nice and i put them on the girls with like denim shorts or leggings or anything so what do you think guys? Red and white stripy t-shirt, black leggings, and an eye patch. Yeah, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for, no, don't do that. Right, so I'm going to run back into Matalan now, get the red t-shirts with the stripes on, the eye patch, black leggings they've already got at home. Job's a good one, and it's reusable. So we just got home from school and got ready for dancing. Yes, I've got changed, yeah. Chris actually made me feel so bad. He said, how is it that today's the first day? Oh no, we could have run it yesterday. Yeah, but I didn't today's one of the first days that you could wear your merchandise and you right. don't rock it. What is going on? So I've got it on right now with my little shorts. And yeah, I love it. It's so nice. We just got the girls ready for dance. We just need to do their hair because they're having their headshot show pictures taken. That was a mouthful. Headshot show pictures taken tonight Sorry, for the through. program. Laundry coming through. Chris is going <laughs> skating with his buddies. He's <laughs> <Buddies>. crazy. <laughs> buddies, that's what you call them. He's crazy. It's too hot out there to even sit. Never mind, use loads of energy skating. That's very flattering. These two just got ready and now we're about to set off. We got a new dance bag today, guys. 
we I admitted defeat. Isla started dancing when she was 18 months old and the other two didn't do it at that point. They weren't interested in doing dance. So Isla just had a cute little drawstring backpack with some ballet shoes on in sequins that we got from like Claire's Accessories? Claire's Accessories. And I've been using that bag all this time since she was 18 months old and Isla's now six for anyone that's new to the iFam. And I admitted defeat is dirty. It's like pulling in places. And we've got like seven, one, two, three, like seven pairs of dance shoes that don't fit in and they're always falling out the top and things so today i admitted defeat and i bought a new one and i'm loving it let me see if i can get a good shot yay so in here right now that's not a good shot guys what am i doing so in here right now we have all of the girls dance shoes including drinks including battery chargers including a six pack of crisps for snacks including some water and some fruit and look there's still space guys there's still Space, and I'm way too excited about this so much so that I'm carrying it right then are you girls ready to go are you ready to go let's go dance I don't know why it feels like I haven't done this in absolutely years, but it's Wednesday night, which means that it's skate night. I've just taken a train, a taxi, and skated up a half an hour long massive hill to get to Hyde Park Skate Park, which is just over there. I kind of like this place. I haven't been here for years. I used to really love this place, but it's kind of not built for rollerbladers. It's built, more built for like BMXs or skateboarders. So I don't come here that often, but everyone was up here. So we just met up with everybody and had like an hour's warm up session, which in that sun has been super, super nice. Although it's not like, it's not like massively warm right now. Anyways, I'm kind of excited because I've not skated up this end of Leeds before. Not for a very long time, at least anyway. And there's so many new spots that I've been told about around here that we're going to go visit tonight. And hopefully I'm going to be able to get some really good clips on. I say this every single Wednesday when we come out, but to finish my video that I've been working on for what feels like forever now, but it is almost there. It just needs a couple more bangers to throw in and it'll be ready to show you guys. And I'm really, really excited to be able to do that because although I've shown you guys little clips of me skating here, there and everywhere, I've never shown you anything like that's actually my proper full potential, like boom, like that sort of skating. I've never showed you any of my top of my proper skating, you know, and I'm totally out of breath right now. You cannot vlog and rollerblade at the same time. One thing I do love about this area of Leeds though is that when the sun comes out, it brings out everybody in force. Like check out every, every inch of field around here pretty much is occupied by at least somebody or lots of people. Everyone comes down here with their barbecues and stuff. And it's actually a super nice park in the center of Leeds. It's called Hyde Park for if anybody is wondering in case I haven't said that already. So we just got home from the girls dance class. It's about 8 p.m. and the girls should be in the shower. But instead we sat in the garden because it's so gorgeous out here. The girls are currently playing on the gymnastics bar. I can't believe the gymnastics mat's not arrived from that yet. Don't know why. Hopefully it'll be here though in the next couple of days. Then we can take these pillows inside. Esme's currently playing with Prinny and a broom. She likes it. She plays. Look. Oh, Prinny, what are you doing? Prinny, Prinny no. no. <laughs> Show me a trick you just did, Isla. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. that. I can do that. That's so cool, Isla. <laughs> you straighten those legs, miss. I am. I'm <laughs> yeah, completely straight. Well done. We've got 10 minutes, then you both need to jump in the shower, okay? You're right there, Isabel. Yeah. You're dancing with the broom. <laughs> nice very relaxing cold shower because it has been so hot today so I decided to get a nice cold cool shower so I did ask my mom about this but my mom said I should maybe not talk about it because it's a little bit personal and a bit private but I decided to talk to it talk about it to you guys so basically the other day when we hit 1 million subscribers which is actually like incredible um, I was at school and I went to the toilet. Oh my god, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm peeing. Mom! There's a spider! Mom, there's a spider! It's on my drawers! Mom! What? <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> Mom! What? Are you kidding me right now, girl? Are you kidding me? Hi guys. <laughs> I'm actually going to pick that up and throw that on you. No, don't. Mum, don't. Please don't. Mum, please don't. Please oh, don't. Chill. 
Okay, that's the tiniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Guys, I am terrified of spiders, but I'm actually gonna pick that up because it's so tiny. Does it run fast? I don't know. It just ran across the thing, like, really fast. <gasps> <laughs> forget that, it's too Get Look how fast it just... Mom, I look! I feel embarrassed. When I show the, guy, the eye from this, they're literally going to laugh so bad at us because it's literally the tiniest thing. It's beyond teeny. Come on, little spider, let's take you outside. Alright guys, so before we had our little spider incident, that would be really scary because I just saw it in the corner of my eye, I was like, my reaction was probably absolutely hilarious. Anyway, as I was saying, I, I was at school and I went to the toilet and I started my period and let's be honest, it is a little bit, little bit embarrassing but I was actually, I was quite scared at first because obviously like I'd been to the toilet and I was like, whoa. So straight away I was calling mum and I was like, mum, I think it's like my period. And I didn't have any supplies with me so my friends gave me some. Um, so yeah, basically guys, I signed my period. And I wanted to talk about this mainly because some people, that their parents or the people who look after them, they don't talk about it because they think it's awkward or they just don't really want to talk about it or, you know, some people don't actually know what it is. So some people actually do think that they're like maybe dying, but guys, don't worry, it is completely normal, it's a normal thing and it's going to happen to every girl one day. So yeah, basically that is pretty much it and I wanted to let you guys know that it's all right, you're all good, we're all women, we're all safe. That was really good. <laughs> Anyway guys, I'm probably going to like settle down now with some TV or something and get ready for bed and sort out this. I'm always so grateful to have these sessions on a night time and stuff on a Wednesday especially when I just get to hang out with some of my favourite people and film doing something that I absolutely love so bad. But there is no better feeling than when you get back to the train station after a big hardcore night like tonight and you pop your skates off and your feet are just like... You know that feeling when you've been on the go all day and you get back and you take your socks off and you take your jeans off and you take your trousers off or whatever and you just got like your bare legs with no like no trousers on and no socks on and you just feel like free. I can't explain, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just weird like that but when you get back after a big long session you just dump your skates off and you just like, it feels like heaven. Anyway guys, I've got a train in 15 minutes back up to my end. I've just got enough time to catch a nice cheeky chai on my way past Starbucks just over there, up there somewhere. So that's what I'm going to do and catch my train home. It's been a really, really fun night. It's been such lovely weather and there's been some epic people out tonight. I've had a lot of fun. I really, really, really love these nights. I love these nights. And the best bit about it is I got some really cool footage too. So I'm really looking forward to getting back home and having a look and seeing what it looks like on the big screen. Fingers crossed. I might, I might just be close to getting my video finished so that I can show you all it, finally. princesses are not in your bed oh my goodness it's sleepy leepy time it's so hot up here isn't it i bet your babies are so hot too <laughs> hey it's only hmm wednesday night thursday night two more sleep excuse me get down <laughs> get down Ready? pretty get down get down babe come on get down, get down. Go, get. come on get down it's only Two more sleeps, so our exciting weekend away. Yay! We're going to Brighton. Yay. So much fun. I hope you have a lovely sleep, sweetheart. Pirate day at school tomorrow, you excited? And swimming tomorrow. And swimming oh, at yeah. school, yeah. I love you. Love and you. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, you're so sweaty. You're so sweaty. And so are you, Missy Moo. I'm, I'm seeing my um, new tooth. Oh, you have got a new tooth coming through, haven't you? Isla's got one of their big back teeth coming through. You look really hot and sweaty too. I'm not really. hot and sweaty. You look very hot and sweaty. I'm not hot and sweaty. <laughs> I well, love you. I need to, it's really weird because every night I need to start to like, please stop. <laughs> oh, okay Isla. <laughs> I love you sweetheart and I'll see you in the morning, okay? And there was just one more to say goodnight to my big girl. Oh, that's flattering, is it? Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, sweetheart, I was just saying to the girls, two more sleeps until our little adventure down to Brighton. Yeah. Yay, so excited. I love you. Ten more minutes on TV and then it slides out, okay? okay. Night, sweetheart. Night, love you. I am actually going to say goodnight to you guys too because I am going to 
go jump in the shower. I'm going to get a nice calm down again, but I do need to wash my hair tonight because it's a big mess. And then I'm going to get into bed and get another night. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Mm.